What is up everyone and welcome back to the life of Kush. So from the thumbnail and title, you'll know that today I'm going to show you how to turn this container into this amp formicarium with Outworld. Now this is the perfect design if you want to be able to see your ants digging their tunnels and nests and all that. But before we get into that, let me show you what we're going to need. So this is everything we're going to need for this build. So let's start off with the obvious, the container that they're going to be going in. You could get whatever size that, um, that suits the colony you're going to be putting in there. So this is the size I need. And then we're going to need some Perspex glass or acrylic, whatever it's called by you. We're going to need some mesh for the top, Elmer's glue, step drill bits that's uh because we don't want to crack this so those should help prospects cutting knife aquarium silicone and then some sand loam but you don't have to use sand loam i'm using it because apparently it's supposed to be good for this kind of build so yeah you can use other sand it doesn't really matter to be honest but i wanted this white sand so you can see the ants better hopefully that's the plan so yeah so stay tuned for the step-by-step -step guide. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you find this build useful and comment if you want more videos like this. So for the first step, get rid of everything and you, so you're just left with these four parts. So the next bit you wanna do is mark where you want your wall to be. So as you can see, I've got the mark there, mark there. I've put it one and a half inches in, so the wall will be coming, be around there. So, now we want to focus on the ports. So you know where your wall's going to be, so you can focus on your ports. So I'm going to put two on each side, around one there, one there, and the same here. You got to think about expansions, because you definitely can't do it when the ants are in there. So yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. You want the right size uh, tubing that you're actually going to be using. Otherwise the hole's going to be too small, too big. And you don't want that. You want to, you want the tube to fit in nicely. Hmm. I know a joke. I'll leave it there. But uh, yeah, and that's why we're going to be using the step bits because it shouldn't break this plastic. Now I'm going to be using a drill because it's quicker. However, you don't actually need the drill. You can do it by hand, just kind of rotating it. You just have to make an initial hole first, but I do not have time for that. So yeah. So first we're gonna do a little hole. So it's easy for the drill to start up. Okay, now for the drilling. There we go. So that's the first hole. Tight fit. So that's what we want and it makes it easy because I just have to go down to the end. So yeah, we do that for all four. So what we can do here, eat, um, if your ant colony is not big enough, to actually come out of here, you can always put feeding tubes on these or just you just block it off until you, they're big enough. The colony is big enough for you to open it up. But yeah, so that is step one. Now the holes are cut, you wanna make the wall. So first of all, uh, first off, we're just gonna measure up these two bits. Make a mark. Okay. And then we want to do that same for the height. Now this is rough because I've got a lot of weight. Now make sure 
you cut on the waist side and not on the side you need because if you go wrong then yeah and if you don't have much to waste like me then it's gonna be a nightmare I'm gonna make the line now the line's made now we're gonna want to cut it but mind this part because it can go wrong you don't want to be cutting off no fingers like i said the ants are not worth it okay i know ants are cool and that but it's not worth a limb or a phalange in this case so yeah let's just be careful again if you're a child get get your parents to do this or or a competent adult okay that's enough safety advice from kush Okay, so now all the holes are done. Those two and those two. I've also made the entrance hole in the wall. I've done that using the step drill as well. As you can see, just a circle going through. So now we want to attach this. Now, previously I said I'm using the silicone. However, it's gone off. <laughs> <laughs> and it went off like two, three years ago. So I'm gonna have to try a different way. So what I'm gonna use is a mix of my Elmer's glue and blue tack. So what I'm gonna do is block, 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 stick in, put the blue tack on the sides as the silicone would have been. And hopefully that works out. Okay, so now I've got the glue in the syringe. I'm just gonna go down the sides. Now we're gonna wait for that to dry. And then we will put the blue tack on to secure it into place because like I said that might not hold <laughs> and there'll be um, a bit of sand which uh, yeah we want that to hold we do not want that collapsing on us so yeah whilst we wait for this to dry we need to make the air holes in the lid using the mesh because you don't want it to get too stuffy in there for them so instead of doing one big hole I've decided to do uh, two smaller holes, one this side and then also one this side just to make sure that they are getting enough air in here, otherwise that can be problematic. So yeah, I'll come back when the holes are made and we're gonna put a mesh on, but yeah, I'm just gonna use the step drill. So I will be back when this is done, abracadabra. Here we go, so. Sorry, the light's shining, but you can see the holes have been made. So I've made them about that big, <laughs> if you can judge that. So now what we need to do is put the mesh over. So pretty simple. Just gonna wanna quickly do a little quick measure up. So I want about that. I want that square there, so I'm just gonna do a line. And there we go, we've got our two squares. One for there and one for there. That's a bit bent, that's all right. And then we just glue it down. There we are. So again, we're gonna go with the syringe. Just put that on. And 
and there we are. After that is done, you probably will want to put something heavy. I'm going to just put this stapler. Probably shouldn't. Probably going to get in trouble. But we'll do it. And then that, that. Is that. Now if we move this to the side. And get the box back in. It's not gone clear yet. But we will be back. Alakazam. Here we are. So this is the day after. I've let it dry out for 12 hours. So it's just that little bit at the top that's got a gap. But I've glued all that side and then those sides. But I'm not leaving it just like that. So what I've got is blue tack. So I'm just going to blue tack the outsides of that just to make sure we do not want an avalanche on the ants when they're in there. Well, you might. I don't. <laughs> and there's that. So bits are up on the corner, but that's all right. As long as it's definitely glued around <laughs> those bits, the holes, then that's fine. So this is going to be fun. This is when we're going to see if the glue holds or if everyone online was right. There we are. So blue tacks on. So I think that should definitely hold with both the glue and the blue tack. I don't, yeah, I'm not worried. That should be all right. Now, just to put the tubing on. tubes are in now so it is time to add the substrate so again we are using sand loam white so we can see better as well hopefully but before we add that we need to add apparently a drainage layer so I'm just gonna add some aquarium stones I've, I've washed them so I'm just gonna add that to the bottom is so you don't drown them and to add oxygen to aerate it however that's going to stay open so we won't really need aeration so this next bit i guess we just add it dry oh this is going to be hard i do have a funnel back with a funnel this should be easier Level it out. I'm going to add water to it, so I'm just going to give it a little um, spray until it all changes color. And then in this bit, we will just be putting a tiny layer of normal sand. So there it is people, your own ant formicarium, easy to make, cheap, and it's going to give you hours of entertainment. If you liked and enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. 
If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And if you are wondering what it looks like for ants to move in, then make sure you stay tuned for my update video of me moving my colony into it. But until then, this has been Life of Kush. I'm out.